Abuse is a worldwide epidemic. One in four women and one in six men will be sexually assaulted at some point in their lifetime. One in five children will be sexually abused before they are adults. One in four women and one in 20 men suffer domestic violence. And Central Florida is no exception. Our status as a worldwide destination for tourism and the number of people who move here has made us a center for human trafficking in a state now ranked third in the nation for such incidents. The prevalence of abuse is heartbreaking. As a bishop and as a survivor of sexual abuse, I'm committed to preventing, recognizing, and responding to all types of abuse. That's why the Diocese of Central Florida in GRACE, which stands for Godly Response to Abuse in the Christian Environment, are working together to provide free abuse prevention and response training on May 16th from 1 to 3 p.m., at the Cathedral Church of St. Luke in downtown Orlando. This event is absolutely free and open to all. Please come and equip yourself with valuable insights and strategies to effectively safeguard your church, school, or organization. The only thing more staggering than the prevalence of abuse is the acute harm done to survivors. The statistics don't reveal the darkness and grief experienced by them. It's physical, psychological, social, emotional, and spiritual pain. The major effect of assault is disgrace, a deep sense of filthy defilement encumbered with shame. Many survivors feel terrified, fearful, helpless, humiliated, and confused. And churches should be the safest place available, sanctuaries of peace where people can be vulnerable, receive the utmost support, and be genuinely heard and believed. It should reflect the compassion of God and the hope and healing in the gospel of Jesus Christ. When they aren't, or when leaders in the church protect the institutions rather than serve justice and care for survivors of abuse, it causes even more harm and confusion to those in the church, and it repels those outside the church. Along with my wife, Lindsay, I've been involved in safe church initiatives for nearly 20 years. Together, we've provided crisis intervention for survivors of abuse. We've conducted trainings for churches and nonprofit leaders. And we've written a few books on abuse prevention, on hope and healing offered to survivors of abuse, and how churches can respond well to abuse. Over the years, I've worked closely with Grace, an organization that provides expert consultation and training to help churches confront abuse. And I've served on the board since 2011. Please RSVP at the link on your screen or use the QR code and join me and the team from Grace on May 16th in the Great Hall of the Cathedral Church of St. Luke, downtown Orlando. After the training on May 16th, you'll understand the dynamics and prevalence of abuse in faith communities. Learn effective strategies to prevent abuse before it occurs. Apply actionable steps to immediately and effectively respond to abuse incidents and foster an environment of trust and support within your church, school, or organization. So RSVP today, and please join me in this prayer for the church found on page 816 of the Book of Common Prayer. Gracious Father, we pray for the Holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth, and all truth with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in want, provide for it. And where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Savior. Amen.